Oh man, guys, freaking beautiful evening. I love this right here. So relaxing. What's up guys? My name is Mark Samaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. It's that time of year guys. Third, like maybe more than 13, maybe 14 years ago today. Take that back. 14 years ago around this time, I was sitting at another, my, my first house, uh, in the garage on a little card table. I'm talking about, it wasn't like a, it wasn't a folding table like our normal six to eight foot folding tables. It was like a little four by four card table it was janky working on one of the three cars that i owned i think at the time i owned a rustler a Fortech, and a t-max i remember the car i was working on and i actually still have it let me go get it this truck I kept it. I, I, I have like sentimental ties to my RC cars. Like I, I just can't get rid of a lot of my cars. I have sellers or more. So I keep a lot of the cars, especially that I've had for a long time. But this is an old T-Max. Has the aluminum, aluminum bulkheads, aluminum chassis rails, RPM, skid plates. I absolutely love this truck. One of the first trucks that I ever hopped up. It's got RPM front and rear bumpers. It, it was awesome. And basically what I would do is I would get it all together it would be perfect and i would go drive it in this neighborhood at almost, i think this exact spot that we're in is where i would drive it because this is a neighborhood that was getting developed there were a lot of like hills and jumps and things like that and i would drive it and i remember thinking it was like a rock crawler it was like when rock crawlers first started coming out and i remember thinking the the articulation the suspension was like a rock crawler i was so intrigued but man the reason why I'm telling you all this, guys, is because this is the time where I just want to work on RC cars. It's the like the weather. The weather's changing. It's beautiful out here right now. I think it's probably 71 degrees out here. It just there's something about this weather, this fall weather, that puts me back at those times where I used to just build RC cars and just enjoy RC. So the reason why I say I need time is because I I don't want to just keep shooting cars that I think would do good on YouTube. I'm gonna start trickling in some videos on cars that I just wanna work on, right? So I do obviously a lot of car reviews, things like that. And whenever new things come out, I wanna get it for you guys. And I basically shoot videos and do RC stuff, related stuff based on how things are trending in the community. And it's not just because of that. I mean, I do wanna do it, but at the same time, there's things that I wanna do with my RC cars that might not be as fun to watch, but I'm gonna do them anyways. I'm gonna do them anyways because that's really why I started the channel. So I'm sorry if the title seemed a little clickbaity, like I need a break from YouTube. I don't need a break from YouTube. I definitely don't need a break from RC cars. Guys, I, I love RC cars. I'm not joking, like if I could do anything, like my dream is to just sit here and work on RC cars all day. I would love to have, my ult ultimate dream is to have a gigantic warehouse where I can drive race RC cars in and I literally wake up and just work and play with RC cars every day. I think we're, actually I don't think, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Uh, we're at 90,000 subscribers guys. I, I can't believe how far we've come. We're so close to 100. I think when we get to 100, it's really gonna, uh, maybe whenever I get the little gold button, it's really gonna kind of motivate me to take more risks and maybe get that warehouse. Maybe get that warehouse and do those things I wanna do, but yeah, don't need a break from RC cars. That is definitely not the case. If anything, I need more time with RC cars. So what a lot of you guys probably don't know is one of the things that inspired my YouTube channel was a show called Wheeler Dealers. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but on Wheeler Dealers, basically there was a car buyer. He would go buy a car and then he would hand it off to this guy. Uh, and I like the episodes where the main technician is a guy named Ed China. And he was like a car guru. And when he would rebuild cars, 
he rebuilt them like perfect. Like he, he never shortcutted anything. It wasn't like, let's just put this together so it can run. It was always, we wanted to do everything perfect where it was like ideal, like the best fix ever. I don't know what it was about that show. It was so intriguing to me. I say it's one of the motivating things and things that inspired the channel because at first I was doing rebuilds. That was my favorite thing. I would go buy a used car off of Facebook or Craigslist, uh, rebuild it, and I, I thought it was fun. At the, I started to build like more parts, like backup parts and spare parts, things like that, that I could build rebuild cars and make them like brand new. I still have one of my favorite rebuilds ever. I'm actually going to pull it down now. I'm kind of scared to see what it looks like. Here is one of my favorite rebuilds ever. That was Wheeler Dealers inspired. This truck I bought for 60 bucks, guys. I bought it for 60 bucks at a swap meet, believe it or not. And this was a swap meet at a place called Banana RC. It's no longer here. But I bought it for 60 bucks. It had so much cool stuff on it. So many cool hop-ups and I knew I could salvage some parts. But I wanted to rebuild it where it looks stock again. And it just turned out amazing. I ended up getting, I even went with a brand new body and I painted it yellow to match the yellow bead locks. But this was one of my favorite rebuilds because it was so satisfying to get completed and it ran so well. I will never get rid of this car. It's one of the staples. It's one of the things that, again, I like to keep all the cars I have some sentimental tie to and this one is, is a big deal to me. So you guys are probably wondering, where are the rest of the Swap Meet videos? They're coming. I promise they're coming. The next vlog will be Swap Meet. We'll be back to the regular schedule program. Like I said, I need time. I'm going to trickle in these videos because I'm sure some of you like to see what I work on whenever I'm not racing and trying to shoot mainstream RC car content. But yes, more Swap Meet vlogs are coming. I have the sequel to the first Swap Meet that I went to, the last Swap Meet video that I did, which that Swap Meet was amazing. I had some crazy scores, so there's at least two more of those videos coming from that swap meet. And then I think there's more swap meets coming. So hopefully we'll have a lot more swap meet content. I, I love RC swap meets. I think they're so much fun. But the car we're working on today is this one. Bam! A Nitro Rustler. So remember when I said like the first three cars I had or the three cars I had at that time was a T-Max Rustler and a Fortec? Uh, this was not the original Rustler I had. I actually sold that Rustler, which I'm regretting big time. But I ended up picking up this Rustler on a website called RC Tech. That's old school too. Actually, I think they still sell stuff on RC Tech. But I think I picked this Rustler up and it was in like new condition. I think he ran it twice for 160 bucks. I was really happy about this one. I ended up cleaning it up, fixing it up, changing out the plug. I ran it a couple times and it's been sitting on the shelf. This thing hasn't ran in probably... I would say six, seven years, maybe. So again, this wasn't the original one I had. This is one I bought afterwards, but the engine seized up. A lot of people think as soon as the engine seized up, it's over for that engine. That's not the case. Uh, you can you can pretty much break them loose. You just gotta take the head off, make sure there's no compression to keep the piston from moving up and down, put some WD-40, and then move the piston manually and, until it kind of works in. And uh, we'll actually do that now. I'll show you how to do that. And then hopefully we'll actually start this thing by the end of this video. You can see where I put some WD-40 in there for it to soak, hoping to loosen it up. Yeah, it's, it's not really loose. All right, guys, we got the engine loosened up. I had to put it on a starter box because that's the easiest way to get it loosened. If I use this easy start, it's just going to burn that motor up. Uh, we're using the TNR Basher fuel. This fuel is awesome. He was telling me all about it, how they put so much R&D in making sure this is fuel that can sit on the shelf for a long time. So, yes, we're using that fuel. About to put fuel in it, change the plug out, and then we're going to try to fire this thing up. Let's cross our fingers, hope it works.
All right, guys, here we go. Wish me luck. I bet it's loose enough to use the easy start now. Oh yeah. Super lean, we gotta tune it. Oh man, I don't know what it is about starting a nitro engine that hasn't started in years. It's super satisfying. I am so excited to get this thing running. I just have to do a few things. I gotta retune it, obviously. It's super lean. You can tell it was bogging out whenever I tried to give it throttle. Also, I gotta change out the electronics. I have this running on Spectrum, which nothing wrong with Spectrum, but I think I'm gonna put it just back to a regular Traxxas remote. I gotta change the air filter. I bet you the air filter will just crumble out. Let's see. See? You see, you see that? Watch. What happens when you try to pull it out, it's so deteriorated, it literally just rips whenever, look, all the filter is actually coming out. It literally just rips when you try to pull it out because it's so old and deteriorated. Like I could probably just pull this apart. Yeah, that air filter is bad, so I gotta get a new air filter. But other than that, we'll have some running videos really soon of this thing. Yeah, I love the Nitro Rustler. Uh, it was one of my favorite cars back in the day. It's so simple, so. Well guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time.